I wanted to go over a little bit about the uh, shifter here, how to remove it and how to, uh, uh, easiest way to actually pull this off. I've seen some uh, guys that pull this cap and let me see if I can do it right now and destroy this part and try to put it out that way. That's not the way you want to do these. The problem why you want to replace these is these right here will break, these ears. If you come over here, I'll show you. See how this one's already undone? Um, so I'm replacing the shifter and that's the cap, there's screws. You don't need to do anything with this. So what you want to do is um, you want to pop this tray on this side. You want to grab it like this and you want to pop it up this way, all right? Of course, if it's a new shifter, you want to be careful, pry it up. I really don't care at this point because I'm replacing this, but I have pry tools actually to get this out. All right, and then you're going to see, this kind of pulls up a little bit. There's just going to be this twisting tab right here. It's like a screw. What you do is you'll actually twist this clockwise, just like that. And once you do that, don't ever pull it this way because you'll end up breaking the glass, the windshield, if you just pull it up. So I like to shift it in fourth and then pull on it, okay, just like that. So that's how you replace it. Now once you twist it, you see the slots in here, let me see if I can twist it. It locks it in place when you spin it back and now see it's the opposite way, you see, lines up and then it doesn't line up. So that, that's how the shifter works and uh, give you a better look here. So what's happening is this leather part is coming up. It looks pretty bad. It's still a pretty good shifter as far as the condition. There are some uh, cuts in here. So I decided to just put a brand new one. Anyways, there's my new shifter in here, okay? It's in the box, brand new. Let's take this bad boy out of here. So what you wanna do, you wanna make sure that's lined up. The slot is actually lined up, see here? I'm gonna demonstrate it. That's what I was showing you on the old one. Okay, this is how you install it. It's very simple. So we're going to go ahead and uh, <coughs> put this on just like this. Sliding on all the way down. Boom, until it clicks and you rotate it. Okay, it's a little bushing. Now you insert these little tabs this way. And then once you insert them, you can then line up your little... Uh, tabs here. You don't want to force anything, you just kind of kind of wiggle it, all right? Just like that. All right. Kind of pull on, tug on it a little bit, make sure it's all clipped in. Those little tabs should clip it in pretty good. Now you want to kind of, I always kind of pull on it just to make sure it's good. All right, so now we're going to shift it, all right? Make sure it's not popping out. That's how you install it. Just a simple tip for you guys if you wanted to change your uh, shift knob, boot and everything, and uh, especially if you're converting it to like a short shifter, which I'm gonna make another video talking about a GT3 one. Uh, again, thank you for watching. See you next time.